hello viewers in this video i will explain you how we can find out the slope and deflection by using the double integration method when the udl is acting over the 10 meter span of the beam simply spotted beam these are the reactions for this udl for this type of beam let's proceed for this i will cut it from here and make the equation of the moment and then proceed forward cut it from here and take the shear force downward and moment as a counterclockwise as we are we have cut it from the left side we are we have taken the x distance from the left side so we will take these dimensions as they are if we cut it from here and take this side then we will take these opposite sides okay let's move forward and this is my only one type of load is acting throughout the span so i will make only one equation for the moment for this type of beam and take this moment equation for the whole beam for finding the slope and deflection but here the load different loads are acting through the span of the beam so we will take the different cut it from here and take this distance as x and make different moment equation for this region and make different moment equation for this region and make different moment equation for this region we will have three different moment equations in these for three three different regions and use them for finding the slope and deflection in these respective regions this is my beam and i will take the moment about point m and take the counter clockwise as a positive and clockwise moment as a negative this m is counterclockwise acting about point p so taken as positive this 20 into x 20 is the reaction multiplied by moment arm x this create the clockwise moment about point p so taken as negative plus this is the udl force 4 into x 4 into x is the udl force multiplied by x by 2 is the moment arm half of this x distance and this create the counterclockwise moment about point p so taken this as a positive this create the clockwise moment say taken as negative this create the counterclockwise moment taken as positive and this mission of the moment these three moments about point p is equal to zero this is arranging this equation I will get this moment equation for this beam and now if I take the first integration for this moment equation I will get the slope and the second integration for this moment equation I will get deflection equation for deflection using that equation I can found, find out deflection at any point in this beam and first of all i will find out first integration for this moment equation for this you have you should have a basic concept of how we can find out integration this is my slope and this is putting m over here and taking ei outside from the integration because it is constant applying this integration separately here and separately at here and take the integration of 20x and 2x square the integration of 20x is this one and of 2x square is this plus this x minus sign as it is minus plus c1 is the constant for integration and ei goes to there multiplied with slope and this is my equation 1 equation 4 slope for this whole span now i will take the second integration for the moment for the deflection value put the m value over here the first integration is this one as i have taken in the last slide and here i will take its second integration multiply the integration over here and then here and then here take the separately the integration of 10x square is this one the integration of 2x cubed by 3 is this one and the integration of c1 is this one and plus c2 is the constant of integration for this equation this take is 
take this equation as 2 and this is my first equation and this is my second equation first equation is used for slope finding the slope and second equation is used for finding the deflection and here now I will proceed to find out the C1 and C2 values find after finding these values I can find out the deflection and slope value at any point in this beam for C1 and C2 value I will use the boundary condition this boundary condition is the term that you can that you should familiar with this term boundary condition mean that at the ends and at the mid what is the value of slope and deflection at the start at the end here the x is equal to 0 and the deflection is equal to 0 putting these two values in equation 2 I will get the c2 is equal to 0 here deflection is equal to put 0 x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 so c2 will be equal to 0 and taking x is equal to 5 over the slope will be 0 at that point putting these two values slope and x is equal to 5 in equation 1 which is related to slope we will get c1 as here i have taken it i have solved it c1 is equal to minus 166.67 <coughs> put c1 and c2 in these equations i will get these equations as they are free from c1 and c2 constants now i can use these equations for this equation for finding the slope and this equation for finding the deflection let's move forward now the question you can solve any type of question related to slope and deflection for this beam the first question can arise find the slope at point a at point A, x value is 0, put the x value is 0 in equation 1 because equation 1 is related to slope and I will get the slope value at point A. This is the slope at point A. This is negative so taking it as a clockwise over here. And the second question can be arises find slope at point x. This at point x is equal to 7 at here we will, yes we can find out the slope at here also put the x is equal to 7 in this equation i will get theta is equal to 94 here it is positive so it will be counterclockwise at the last it was slope was negative over here at a it was clockwise here it is counterclockwise because the value is positive by putting the x is equal to 7 here the slope is called positive mean the curve is moving upward let's move forward the question can also arise find the point where slope is 0 here the slope is 0 x is equal to 5 the slope is 0 you can find out the point put the slope x is equal to 5 and slope you can we will find out slope is equal to 0 at x is equal to 5 find deflection at midpoint or find maximum deflection the deflection here the there is one type of loading on this beam so deflection will be at the mid maximum deflection will be at the mid so put the x is equal to 5 in equation 2 because equation 2 is related to deflection and I will get the maximum deflection here this is my maximum deflection negative value so taking it as a downward the question can also arise find the deflection at x is equal to 7 meter this is my deflection at x is equal to 7 meter it is also negative it is less than the maximum deflection which was minus 520 wise 525 sorry this was my the maximum my maximum deflection and now it is the deflection at point x is equal to 7 you can practice it by yourself this is my another i have solved this for the point load and here it is 8 kN point load is acting sorry I haven't write it over here here 8 kN point load is acting these are the two equations this is the slope equation and this is the deflection equation you can solve them by yourself it is for the practice thanks for watching this video